All right, okay, so this is the uh, cockpit of the race car. Just thought I'd give you a quick look at it. Really tough holding the camera as it is right now. You're right at my eye level, right in my eyeball. Um, so this is basically what I see. You see this the top of the tires here, top of the tire there. You can see that the mirrors in the back. Um, then we got the steering wheel here, okay? So basically we've got uh, in the back, you can see that there's um, some paddle shifters here just behind, so that's left side will be down, right side will be up. Uh, and then we've got the display on the steering wheel here. As you can see from the display, we've got our water temperature here, oil pressure. Um, this will light up with red lights, as will this, um, just with your RPMs. This will tell you your RPM here. I can see my lap times, uh, also the speed that we're going, and then the, the big N will be the, the gear that we're in. Uh, there's some different pages that you can select. Uh, track map, this is from Monza, so it's obviously not correct here. Uh, so tell us some of our brake bias, and then there's a whole bunch of different um, pages to, to play around with. Um, to start the car, on this side you got a couple of switches. Uh, you got the master switch up here, the green one is master switch on, which turned on the power, this will turn it off. Uh, you got the ignition switch, uh, you flick this down to on and then push the start button and then the car will fire up. Um, we've got a radio button here. I don't have a radio simply because I can't afford the cost for the frequency nor the uh, hookups for the helmet. Um, and then here we've got the two page up and page down buttons that just change the uh, display on the screen. Rain light. So if you hold that rain light then there'll be a nice little R that'll come on right in the corner. And now there's a light that's flashing on the back of the car. Um, gear selection. What this does is I have to hold this gear button in while the clutch is in and then I can select pull into first gear and after that I don't have to clutch at all. I'm just going up through the gears and then down through the gears and then to get back from to neutral from first you push the uh, the gear button again and while you're doing that then you select the downshift button that will bring it back to neutral and on into reverse. Um, this is a pit limiter. Basically we have a 60 km hour pit speed as we're going through the pit lane. Um, there's a little ribbon here around it. It's a circle just to keep you from accidentally bumping it because it engages the pit limiter, which means I cannot go faster than 60 kilometers an hour, almost like a, like a cruise control type of a deal. Um, so I engage that when I'm in pit lane, and then you push it again once you're, once you're out of pit lane. Uh, over here on this side, you can see a couple more dials and buttons. Uh, this is my brake bias selection. Uh, a little bit complicated to go into right now, but it basically just allows me to choose how much braking pressure is going to be on the front wheels and how much is going to be uh, on the rear of the car. And it just changes with weather conditions and, uh, and circuit conditions uh, and that sort of thing. This here is a neutral lockout button, so it's for the marshals to use. That's why there's a big, uh, big end on top of the car here. It's just something where the marshals can put your car back into neutral if there's uh, if there's a problem and you're stuck in in gear. Uh, then on the top here, you just see a, a fire button. You can push that if the car uh, car ignites or something. It'll send. Here's the little nozzle right there that'll spray into the cockpit, and then one that'll uh, well that'll go out into the, uh, the engine compartment as well. So yeah, this is the uh, this is the office, the cockpit of the race car. And uh, hopefully that was at least a little bit somewhat informative of what I see while I'm, while I'm driving the car. And then to get out of the car is quite simple. There's a little catch release here on the back of the steering wheel. So I put my hands behind the steering wheel and we pull it out. You gotta take the steering wheel out of the car and uh, climb on up.